Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you uh, tonight for a album review, and this is going to be for the new Ed Sheeran album, uh, Equals, that I'm going to discuss what I just finished listening to for this 48-minute album. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 48-minute album, which consists of 14 tracks. And let you know what I thought of his new album. So let's dive into this review. Now, I really enjoyed the beginning of this album. It was really good. But Bad Habits is one of my least favorites. It's not a bad track. It's just... I've heard it before with The Weeknd going with an 80s feel disco kind of melody. But... Ed Sheeran was trying a disco feel kind of song, and some of the songs on this album tend to have disco feel kind of stuff, like Shivers does, but it executes a little bit better than Bad Habits. For one, I love this, I don't hate the song Bad Habits, I think it's not a bad track. Two, the video was shit. I personally thought the CGI and how they're being strung around and flying like vampires. It was horrible. I did not like the CGI in that video. Uh, I'm just giving out my honest opinion. So definitely go check out my track review for Bad Habits. Because I reviewed it back in June. Late June of 2021. So it's been a few months now. Visiting Hours is a favorite of mine. I really love that song. Overpass Graffiti is going to be one of the new singles to drop tonight. I think he's going to have a video for it. Um, and like I said, Shivers is a very good song too. Yeah, lyrically, it's very well done. The beat, maybe it's something that's going to grow on me in time. Tides was a really good opening track. First times I really enjoyed. Um, I just like the melody with Tides. It sounds really nice. And he does do falsetto in the song, at the chorus part of the song. But it does work. So, at least he's putting more of an effort, Ed Sheeran is, into making a little bit better of an album. Because number six collaborations project was uh, not that great. After... Coming back to it multiple times, I wouldn't call Number Six Collaborations Project a masterpiece. I found it to be a decent effort, but that's just my take on it. I know other critics will probably say, "Oh, Number Six Collaborations Project wasn't his best album; it was his worst." Um, Leave Your Life was pretty nice. Uh, the Joker and the Queen. Very mellow and laid-back track. I think most of these songs you're going to find laid-back and pretty nice, too. Uh, Stop the Rain, uh, I found it to be decent, in my opinion. Along with Two-Step, he does this mumble singing that I'm really not feeling for him, where he's, like, flowing and mumbling at the same time, and I'm just... He's... I can understand some of it, but it's just the way it's presented is my problem, and how it's pre how it does to the listener, to whoever listens to it, I guess might find it to be a little bit bothersome uh, for the two-step song. I'd give that a four out of five. Eh, I wasn't really feeling for that one that much. Um... Uh, the most song that I found to be a little cheesy and corny was Sandman. And in my opinion, I found it to be too cheery of a song. If you find it to be enjoyable, that's great. Uh, more power to you. I just personally think uh, Sandman is my very least favorite song on this album. Probably the weakest song. In my opinion. Uh, Love in Slow Motion was very good. Collide, I found that to be a very good song. Really good song, I should say. 
B right now is the final track, and it does very well. And like I said, Overpass Graffiti is going to be one of the new singles to come out, I believe, at midnight tonight. And this album is dropping at midnight, so I think you guys are going to find it to be a better effort from Ed Sheeran. Uh, overall, I think Ed Sheeran's Equals album is not bad. It's average, in my opinion. It is a better effort than Number 6 Collaborations Project. It is much better than that <laughs> boring-ass album, honestly. Uh, I know he was trying something different with the Number 6 Collaborations Project, but this one is much better than it. <sighs> I'm just saying. So, yeah. I probably see myself returning to this album more, giving it a few more listens, and seeing if it grows on me a lot more. But for right now, for a score, I'm going to give Ed Sheeran's Equals album a 7.5 out of 10. This was not bad. It was average. It was an average listen. I did not hate this album that much. I thought it there were some good moments, and then there were some moments in the album I felt conflicted on what I was listening to, I guess you could say. And, yeah, it's just how you perceive some of the songs, I guess you could say. Uh, but pretty much, this album was a better effort than number six collaborations project because it seemed like he was making more of an effort into making a better album and i think he kind of succeeded in my take i think he did an average job so not too bad ed sheeran uh not a bad release for this friday's releases uh comment below let me know what you guys thought of the new ed sheeran album equals if you've heard it it is coming out at midnight. I'm doing it a few hours early because, yeah, I just was able to find it this morning. But I was going to do it this morning, but I overslept a bit. And I will have another album review to do later tonight. So, yeah, if you did enjoy this album review for Ed Sheeran Equals, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I was going to mention the production mixing and execution wise, but I think I pretty much covered the basics of what I was explaining in this review the best way I can, I guess you could say. But I will return to you for Whitechapel's Kin album review. Then I'll be doing. Uh, Bat Blackville Brides, uh, The Phantom tomorrow, and then finally Bad Wolves uh, with their new album, Dear Monsters. So I'm going to see when I can find that Bad Wolves and Blackville Brides album. Both those albums I have not found yet. I may have to wait till midnight, unfortunately. I'm really trying to find it. It's just becoming a difficult bitch <laughs> i guess you could say but yeah ed sheeran didn't do a bad job in my opinion he didn't do a bad job but keep in mind in this review it's just my opinion you don't have to take it personally and don't have to agree with me on it it's just how i felt when listening to this album so i'm giving out my honest opinion on what i think of this release uh for the new Ed Sheeran Equals album. It's not a bad effort. It's a little better than Number 6 Collaborations Project. Because after coming back to that release. I'm not feeling for it as much as I did back in 2019. I have different a different opinion about it now. Or a different take on it now. So yeah. But. Still, I hope you enjoyed this album review for Ed Sheeran Equals. Like I said, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Definitely stay safe, take care, and as always, I'll see you in my next review.